Emi Omokri and Yelo Sore combines to attack Mr. P. Tobi. Obedience reacts. Hello, guys. I welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, after Mr. P. Tobi went and visited uh, to Kabobaka, you know, a lot of things have been happening. APC have been restless. They've been sending people to find a way to disorganize and disorient any plan that P2B probably is making with Atiku Abubaka. Even though P2B has not come out fully to say, look at why I visited Atiku Abubaka. APC have been restless to tell you that they are very, very scared of Mr. P2B. They are very, very scared of Mr. P2B ahead of 2027 because they've seen that they've totally failed the people. Now, they are not sending people like Yolo Sowori and they are not sending people like uh, uh, Aruno Omokri to attack Mr. P2B. I'm going to show you every single thing that Yolo Sowori, a man that should actually you know, join P2B to fight against this evil government that have actually led this country in perpetual poverty and hardship, being the All Progressive Congress. But he is working for APC and APC is sending him to come and attack Mr. P2B and sending him and Aruno Omokri. Well, I'm going to show you what happened and what... Uh, uh, this Yellow Sawara and Yellow Nobo Priest, what we said, well, let's start with Yellow Sawara. You know, this is a man that is a youth and a Bible person that should join the obedient movement and at least help P2B and help the obedience to, you know, uh, this, uh, to remove this evil political party we have in the country, bring the All Progressive Congress. But he had decided to use his own platform. He had, he had decided to, you know, because of pride, you know, uh, to destroy his own political career and to destroy his political, uh, uh, whatever he has in the country. Now look at what Yellow Sawara said after Mr. P2B went and visited uh, Atiku Abubakar uh, uh, a few days ago, you know, you know, I've, I've had people be visited at Atiku Abubakar. A lot of them have been restless, like I've said. Now, you know, so I said something as you saw on the screen. He, he, he made a picture of P2B's uh, visit, the picture that P2B visited at Atiku Abubakar. He said something, he said, Mr. P2B back at the special purpose vehicle SPV rehab center with his elder brother Atiku for the enhancement of structure of criminality. Now, if you people don't know what is actually happening, you know, a lot of people might not know this, that if that uh, that uh, Yolo Sowori is working for APC, actively working for APC. That is why you will keep on seeing him not attacking Tinubu. The only person keeps on attacking is uh, P2B. Keep on wondering, is P2B even the president? Most of them have left attacking Balame Tinubu. They've left exposing all the evil things and all the poor policies of Balame Tinubu. Every now and then, APC is paying them to come and uh, to keep on attacking uh, Mr. P2B. Every now and then. Look at what he said that Mr. P2B is back at the special uh, people's vehicle SPV rehab center with his elder brother Atika Baka for the enhancement of the structure of criminality. He knows what he's saying because P2B has not even said, Look at the reason why I visited Atika Baka. But APC have given them money to come and tarnish the image of P2B. That P2B wants to do this and that and that. And they are scared of that particular uh, 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 agreement and they are scared of that particular move, move that P2B made because P2B remains their nightmare. P2B remains their nightmare. I can boldly tell you, for, you, know, you know, when a, a lot of obedience saw what Yolo Soro said against Mr. P2B, they started attacking him because he first of all attacks our principal, Mr. P2B. You know, a lot of obedience started attacking him. Look at what this particular person said. This person said, this man only had a meeting yesterday with some people, uh, with some people, and hasn't even got the time to even share it. But all of the establishment have been rattled since yesterday, posting all manner of rubbish. P2B is not a president of Nigeria, but a private citizen. Why the hula balu? This person is saying that, just that a, a, a P2B visa that took a backer, even though P2B has not said anything, but oh, everybody at uh, APC have been paying people to come and, and punish and attack Mr. P2B, and they are scared of this particular man, just P2B, they are very, very scared of him. I can literally and boldly tell you this for free. This other person said, Nigeria is safe under the hands of APC and Tinibu than it can ever be under your hands, you know, so well. and I can back this up with all logical, objective, and common sense reason. This person said that instead that APC that, that Nigeria is even safer in the hands of APC than Yellow Sowore. Remember, this Yellow Sowore has been contesting for the seats of the presidency for over only God knows when. But he cannot win because of his bad character. A man who believes, who thinks that he can use insults and, uh, 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 and, and disrespect on his elders to win the election. He thinks that the youth will come and follow him to start insulting elders and disrespecting leader, uh, elders in the country without knowing that this is not the way to win elections and this is not the way to win the hearts of the youth. This other person said something that is very you know interesting. He said this was you celebrating and helping and helping to bring APC to power with your salary report propaganda, right? I pity those who only the dubious man like you. APC wing man, we see you. I told you guys this video you are seeing playing around is a video of uh, Yolo Sewori when he was celebrating. He, he was part and parcel of people that brought Buari. He supported APC, supported Buari. He was part and parcel of people that supported and brought Buari to power. And now he's trying to claim innocence. Meanwhile, he was part of the criminality and the criminal gang that brought, uh, that brought uh, APC to power. And he's trying to exempt and exonerate himself from all this, which is very funny and pathetic. This other person said, I thought you would do a lot of good by concentrating on your campaign against the ruling party rather than exploring avenues to denigrate your fellow opposition leader. Imagine, 
P2B is not the president, but every now and then, Yellow Sowere is busy at attacking his fellow opposition, Be Mr. P2B. He has left the ruling party. He has left Tinubu that has destroyed this nation to keep on attacking uh, Mr. P2B. Well, that's that for you, Yellow Sowere. You can see how obedience actually exposed him and attacked him and equally, you know, told him and put him in his proper place. Well, Reno Mokri is another person that APC has been paying to attack uh, Mr. P2B. Reno Mokri is scared. He is so scared that Mr. P2B, you know, would definitely, you know, become the president of Nigeria someday. So he's now working for APC. This was a man that said a lot of evil things against Bola Metinibu now because Atik Abaka started to stop funding him and stop giving him money. He decided to take up uh, a, a job from APC. APC started paying him to start attacking P2B. In fact, you know, Reno Mokri's job is to keep on attacking Mr. P2B. Let me show you what he said. You know, after P2B visited Atik Abaka, he said something as he said, he said, that Atiku and Erufai and Kwa Kwanso won't agree to contest with P2B. This is what Reno Mokri said. You know, when you see a man that is clueless about the political happenings in the country, you will know. Reno Mokri is just a, a typical example of a clueless political man. This man, Reno Mokri, has no political power. He, he, has, never, he has never voted. He's a, a refugee that is on, on Ezra. He has not crossed his foot or feet within this country. He does not even vote. And still, yet he thinks he has a voice in the political happenings in the country. Now, so, so he said that Atiku and Erufai and Kwan Kwaso won't agree to contest with P2B in 2027. This is what Reno Mokri said. In full context, he said, that the former presidential aide, Reno Mokri said that the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and Nigeria's uh, and Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabi Okwankwasu, and the former governor, Nasi Erufai of Kaduna State, will not agree to contest to contest the presidency with P2B. You know, you could imagine. Kwan Kwaso does not even have the political will that P2B wins. Atiku Abubakar, who has been in the politics, who, are, who has been in politics since 2000 till now, who has been the vice president, does not even have the, pol the political followership that P2B has. P2B only came into the scene. Few months and you know garnered a lot of votes, more than six point something million votes, and this is whom you know is saying that uh, uh, that this poor uh, that has not even tested his power, his political power in the national politics or anything. Well, let's go ahead to tell you how uh, uh, naive and how funny this Reno Mokri could be. You know, he has collected money from APC, so he's he's not busy talking nonsense. Now he went for that to say something. He said, "Recall that." That will be met with Atiku and former senior president Bukala Sarake and Suli Lamidi, a former governor of Jigawa State from 2002 in Abuja on Tuesday. Now, these were the meetings that appear to be uh, made. Now, they said, Omokri said that no Nortana of standing and in his right senses you know, would agree to run for the 2027 presidency with the former Anambra State governor. Omokri wondered about the significance of Obi's reapproachment with Northern power brokers in the PDP, stressing that. Stressing that right now he is tempted, you could imagine that Obi is tempted. You know, he's trying to. This is what APC gave him to to publish against Mr. P. Toby. So he's doing his job because if he doesn't do this, he will not feed his family and he will not feed himself. So he said uh, that, uh, that 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 right now Obi is tempted. He went further to say that have you forgotten about the border somewhere? Of course not. The memory is still the memory is still fresh in your mind. Primarily because you're a Christian and you empathize with her, seeing as she was killed by a core Northern Muslim mob on charges of uh, blasphemy. He's trying to, you know, bring up uh, unnecessary uh, or probably he's he, he, he trying to raise up emotions and blackmail P2B. He said, now nah, perform this emotional intelligence exercise. If you cannot and will not forget the border somewhere, how do you think any Muslim or Northern or Southern or Southern is going to forget about? A man who was caught on tape plotting religious war against you. Now he's trying to deceive the Northerners because of what APC conspired. In, you know, before the 2020 presidential election, APC or after it, APC, you know, went and you know doctored and you know uh, 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 and forged a, an, an innocent conversation that to be had with uh, Pastor uh, Bishop David Oyedepo. And you know they talked about it, and they came out and said that P2B said he wants to fight a religious war in Nigeria, which which is all like this. We are all, all political antics and evil plans of APC to you know paint. P2B bad as a religious bigot, but it did not work for them. The more they, they were trying to pay P2B bad, the more P2B was gaining popularity and acceptance everywhere in the northern part. So, you know, Mokri is just trying to raise these sentiments. He, he, he's trying to deceive the northern that the northern should not forgive P2B, that P2B was caught on tape. Meanwhile, there is no evidence, there is no just, justification that P2B did uh, 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 probably, you know, uh, uh, did that because we know that the, that particular doc, uh, uh, that particular tape was actually doctor P2B be said it categorically that he did not make any such comment. You know, APC can go as uh, any length as destroying P2B's career. They, there is nothing they've not done to P2B. They've monitored P2B's conversation. They've monitored P2B's movement. That is why P2B said that APC and this evil political party and evil government knows where he is at each point in time. So Reno Mokri collected this particular small payment from APC and he is now trying to deceive the Northerner because he has seen that P2B has gained a lot of popularity and acceptance in the North ahead of 2027, which is going to, you know, affect Balame Tinibu. So Reno Mokri is fighting for his own belly because he, know that he, knows, he knows that if Tinibu leaves government, that he's 
that he will no longer have money to feed himself and equally feed for his family. So he's actually hustling. You people should not really blame him because he is actually hustling for his money. Is typically and you know actually hustling for his money. That is why he has been he has been collecting money from APC to come and denigrate and say all sorts of lies against P 2 B. Like I've said, P 2 B's meeting with all these uh, political uh, PDP people in the northern part of the country is causing a lot of brouhaha in, in APC and Bola and Tinibu. Tinibu have lost the northerners. Remember, the northerners are the ones telling that saying that Tinibu is a one-time president. What OTP that Tinibu must become legal. That Tinibu has cost on told hardship. Remember, the Northerners we are, are, are the first people that started protesting against Tinibu's government. In fact, they started looting properties, warehouses, and said that Tinibu's government is the worst government that they've ever seen. So Tinibu knows that he has lost the goodwill and the support of the Northern uh, part of the country. He knows, he typically knows this particular basic truth and fact. He cannot deny it. And that is why he's trying to, you know, uh, send people to paint people to be bad. Well, he, he should know that him and Ren you know, can get closer to whatever P2B is doing. P2B is a smart politician and he knows how to do his calculations and his manipul and, and his plantations together. You know, Ren Mokri is just a jobless person that is living outside the country. Nothing much, not, nothing good. Well, on another developing story, you know, uh, like I've said, this APC government will actually get to everybody. It's just those that supported criminality will actually reap criminality, which is basically the truth. Now, APC women supporters are not crying. Look at what they are saying. They said we suffer to make Tinibu president now. He won't even give us a uh, give us rights during Easter and Ramadan. APC women leaders start lamenting. They are crying that but Lamet Tinibu have forgotten them. You know, Tinibu have used and dumped them, which is what APC is known for. When we told them, more, imagine more that supporting this evil party. We told them then that this is not the right way to go. We are supporting Balame Tinibu, who does not even have any plan for this country, or because that time he bribed you people with money and dollars. You people think that he will keep on bribing you people. People who left comfort, uh, competence and went and voted for, uh, for, for, for money because he gave you people dollars then. Now, the dollars are no longer coming. People are crying out that Balame Tinibu no longer give you people rice for Ramadan and Easter, that he has forgotten you people. And you think he will not forget you people. A man that wanted, only wanted to become the president, you know. And a lot of people started commenting, saying that the earlier they know the man was appointed by Enoch and not by the people, the better they will be. Anyway, they must have missed this giveaway. This is a people's comment. This other person said, what did you suffer? You read the election on his behalf, and now you complain because the economy is biting hard. And this is literally what I just said. They are, literally, they are just basically complaining now because the economy is biting hard on them. That is why they are complaining. Not like they, they didn't have any option to vote for competence in the 2020 presidential election. They had every option to do that, but they refused. Rather, they wanted to vote in a man who, 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 who does not have any track record as, as a matter of other than God for that reason in Lagos State. Who does not he didn't, who didn't achieve anything in Lagos State, despite Lagos State having a high IGR and being the former capital of this country. So a lot of things are actually happening in this country. Well, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll keep you guys updated with political issues and you know controversies like this. I would like you guys to drop a comment. Tell me what you think about uh, this you know, co comments and uh, Yellow Sowero who was been, who has been paid by APC and sponsored by Balame Tinibu to come and denigrate and you know uh, to come and deceive people because Peter visited Atiku Abubakar a few days ago.